In this video, we'll take a quick look at paragraphs. It's important to remember that HTML ignores white space, so you can't make a paragraph by hitting return. Let me demonstrate. Okay, so let's just pick up some text. This is a really great website, by the way. It's called Alorum Ipsum Generator. If you Google that, you'll find this. I'm just going to copy that text and come back to my um, editor and paste that in. So when we paste that in, you can see it's put some line breaks in there. But if we preview that, what you'll see is that all the text has been bunched up. So what we need to do is we need to come back and we need to add in paragraph tags. We need to use the P element. So let's add those in. Okay, now that we've got those in, if I preview now, we'll refresh the page. Oh, I need to go back and save. You can see that the paragraphs have now been put in. The default browser style adds a line in between each paragraph. So um, the browser itself, in this case Chrome, has some default settings in, built in and that um, renders the page with a line in between. Sometimes we only want to have a line break, not a complete paragraph. So for example, if we're writing out a prayer or a poem or an address. So let's have a look at how that might work. Let me go back to our editor and we'll take out um, some of this text here. Okay, let's pick up some more text. One that you're familiar with, so let's copy that and we'll paste that in. Okay, so once again, if we view this now, um, So you can see that all of our formatting has been lost there. Okay, if we come back to Adam. Instead of adding in a paragraph, what we want to do here is we want to add in a break. So this tag here doesn't have a close.
preview again. And there we go. So the break tag is really useful when we only need a line tag. Paragraph tag is used when we need to block in a whole paragraph. Um, the break tag doesn't have a closing tag. It just breaks it onto the next line. And we commonly use that with poetry or prayers or addresses.